Alexa, stop. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Wine and Wellness Wednesday. I'm Lindsay Brantley, the founder of Camellia Elise and the Camellia Elise Academy, and I'm super excited to be here with you guys today. So this edition of Wine and Wellness is going to be all about um, summer fun, and it's still the self-care edition, all right? So last week, I kind of talked to you guys about skincare during aging, um, and so I'm super excited to jump into this summer topic. Summer, summer has officially begun. Um, for those of you guys who are parents, I know that your kids are probably officially out of school now. So um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about some self-care tips for yourself and a couple things that I know are personally affecting me this summer. So before I jump into everything, as usual, um, welcome to Wine and Wellness Wednesday. I hope you guys have your wine, and I just want to toast to each and every one of you guys for joining me today. Hope you, hopefully you guys are got your wine and are ready to go, all right? And by the way, so this one is another beautiful bottle that was sent to me as a gift. Um, and for those of y'all who know me personally, you know that my wedding colors were black and gold. And it's got the little long horn on it. So I was like, oh, yeah, I got I to gotta show this one. But anyway, so, all right, summer has officially begun, right? So for, for those of you guys who are parents, you know that that means, hey, kids are home and priorities change, right? Um, and I am super excited this summer to, you know, spend a little bit more time with my son um, to go, you know, fun places with him, spend a little bit more family time together. Because, of course, you know, after um, the loss of my mom earlier this year, uh, time like this is a lot more important to me um, this year. But when, you know, you think about all the things that you're doing as a parent, a wife, you know, a sister, a, a brother, a, everything that you are to other people, um, summertime just becomes busy, right? Because everybody wants you to, you know, take this kid to this camp, take your uh, kid to this summer thing, or come to this party or come there. So people just start to pull on you um, differently during the summer, right? Um, and so today's topic is near and dear to me because a lot of us are in between that phase of, okay, hot girl summer, let me have a lot of fun, and, and then the hustle summer where you're like, okay, I got to work harder or make money or take care of my kids and do all of this stuff. Well, in the middle of all of those things happening, I just want to remind you guys to make sure that you take care of you, okay? Um, I'm one of those that kid is going to be in this camp, and then I'm going to have this kid, and we're going to have so much fun. But at the same time, Lindsay's going to be doing things for Lindsay as well. So I have already planned a couple of my trips, um, and I just wanted to give you guys maybe four or five different tips for making sure that you take care of yourself this summer. The first and most important thing, guys, especially since now we're able to go out and do all this fun stuff, the first and most important thing is to make yourself a priority, okay? Make yourself a priority. Make sure that no matter what you do, you know, taking the kids here, taking someone there, uh, going to this party for this person, make sure that you put yourself as number one. So if that means, listen, on a Sunday, I'm not getting out of my pajamas, which I did for Memorial Day, by the way. If that means, you know, I'm going to take one day a month and just go to a spa, disconnect from everybody, whatever that means to you, do it. You know, at least, I, I always recommend at least every other week, do something for you where no one else is involved. You don't have to go somewhere with someone else. Give yourself time to just disconnect, whatever that is. If it's reading a book on the beach while your kids are at camp or, you know, whatever, do something for you that helps you to recharge those batteries so you can keep running for everybody else. So that's the first. Um, then the next thing I want to tell you guys to do, and you should already know how important this is, but hydrate. You need to hydrate for your health and you need to hydrate for um, your skin, okay? So, of course, it's hotter. You're going to be drinking more. You're going to be going more. You're in the sun more. You need to be hydrating, making sure that you're taking care of your body, taking care of your skin um, this summer while you're doing everything else. So that's going to definitely be a priority. 
Um, the next thing, and I talked about this last week when I talked about protecting your skin while aging. OMG, y'all, protect your skin while you're out in the sun. Make sure that y'all are wearing sunscreen, please. I don't care how melanated you are or how unmelanated you are. Make sure that you are wearing sunscreen to take care of your skin. And of course, you know, we sell it here, but you can go to any store on your way. <clears throat> on your way on vacation, on your way to the next party, on your way to wherever you're going, make sure that you take care of your skin, okay? Y'all know I can't read, so somebody sent me a message. Hold on, let me see what this is. It says, um, someone sent, oh, I'll, I'll see, um, there's a request to go live. I'll, I'll let them join us once I get through my points, okay? All right, so then the next thing is um, meditating outside. So y'all know how I talk about stress relief and taking care of yourself and all different kinds of things. Well, now is the time, right, to really go outside, soak up some sun, um, even if it's just for five or 10 minutes. Do things outside that you might not be able to do outside um, any other time. And thank you guys so much for joining. Everybody's joining and uh, saying hi. Thank you guys so much for joining. Um, we're talking about summer fun and things to do to take care of yourself um, this summer. So like I was telling everybody before, you're going to be running around taking care of everybody but you, but you need to make sure that you are a priority this summer too. So I'm just going to go through, I'm going through a couple tips to make sure that you keep yourself as a priority and take care of yourself in the midst of taking care of everybody else. So, um, the next thing, the point that I was on was meditating outside. So take time to breathe, take time to walk, take time to meditate, read, whatever it is, but do those things outside that you couldn't do during the um, winter months and enjoy, you know, soaking up a little bit of sun, soaking up a little bit of um, time outside, okay? Um, get creative, right? Summertime is the time when you can really think about different things you want to do. If you want to write a book this summer, which I wrote my book last summer, right? So, um, you know, get creative on taking care of yourself. If you feel like I want to paint this summer or I want to learn to play the piano or I want to write a book whatever those projects are that you guys have just been like okay I want to do something different but I don't know if I want to do it now is the time now is definitely the time okay oh and someone just said I'm ready for their uh my class with you well whenever you're ready we're ready so make sure that you dm us y'all and then um by the way I am going to be going live on our um academy page right after this just like I do every week at Camellia Academy and we're going to talk about some business topics on that page okay all right um the next thing and this one is my favorite y'all this one is my favorite during the summer, I always say, wash away your worries, okay? I am a water baby to the heart, and I'm sure that y'all have noticed that, you know, I'm changing up my hair. It's because I'm in water all summer long, y'all. Um, my first vacation with my husband, we actually had an infinity pool in the room, and I told him, just get ready. I was like, I'm going to be in the water all day, every day. So whether it's vacationing by the lake, by a pool, being in a pool, um, whatever it is, get some water. Because clearly, like, when, when we're in the wintertime, well, for most of us, I know there's polar bear people, but for most of us, during the cold, we do not swim. Uh, we don't spend as much time in showers because our skin is drier. But during the summer, that's the time to, like I said, wash away your worries, go swimming, lakes pools, all different kinds of things. Really enjoy yourself. Like I said, we all get lost in taking care of other people, especially this summer. This is the first summer since the pandemic, right? And most of us, last summer, last year, you're sitting at home doing nothing or trying to make sure that you stay safe. And now everybody's like, I got a birthday party. I need you to come here. Uh, take your kids to camp. Do this, do that. So you're constantly running and running and running. Well, make sure that you take time aside for you, okay? So that's what this is all about. Enjoy your summer, but make sure you make yourself a priority because if you let everybody else pull on you to the point where you're empty, you're not recharging your batteries, you're not doing yourself a, um, a service and you're doing everybody else a disservice as well. Um, so those are kind of the tips that I wanted to give you guys to um, keep things in mind when you are trying to take care of yourself during this summer fun. So I'm going to go through those points really quickly again for those of y'all who just joined us. But um, the first one is make sure that you make yourself a priority. 
Always make sure that you set aside some time, whether it's once a week, once a month, give yourself time to just disconnect and do whatever the hell you want to do. So that's number one. The second one is hydrate. Hydrate for your health, hydrate for your skin. You got to make sure that you um, are drinking a lot of water while you're out there drinking wine and doing everything else you're doing. Um, the third one is protecting your skin. You are going to be outside more. And I don't care how light or dark you are, make sure that you have sunscreen on. Um, and the next one is meditate or do an activity outside. So you have the opportunity to soak in some of those rays. Um, the next one is get creative. So whether it's like I said, you want to learn to play the piano, you want to uh, write a book, whatever it is, take summertime to really um, bring out your creative self. And then the last one, which is my favorite, hands down, is just wash away your worries. Y'all need to enjoy the time, go swimming, like I said, pools, lakes, whatever it is. Give yourself some water time because we're all coming out of, you know, cold winters where most people are not out in the water. They're not out swimming. So now is the time for you to enjoy, you know, that that um, this weather and enjoy the water. Like I said, I'm a water baby all day. So I'm going to enjoy myself. I got a couple vacations coming up. I have made myself a priority this summer, y'all. Um, like I said, life is short. Me losing my mom put a lot of things in perspective for me. So this summer, I got a couple trips going on. So y'all will definitely be seeing me probably doing a couple lives from the beach. I don't know yet. All right, but once again, thank you guys so much for joining me for this edition of Wine and Wellness, the Summer Fun Edition. And I will be seeing you guys again next week. We'll be talking about something skincare related. And for those of you who don't know, we are doing um, a giveaway right now on the IG page. And next Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a live giveaway on the Facebook page. So um, definitely tune in next week. We do um, Wine and Wellness on our page, 7 o'clock every Wednesday. And I will see you guys again soon. Thanks for joining, and I'll talk to you soon. Um, Alexa, continue playing music. And y'all enjoy. We made it through hump day, all right? <laughs>